Hey guys, it's Arctic Snow Wolf 40817 here, and today I'm doing another video, and it is on DIY fake blood. Uh, most of you guys know what the fake blood is. It's nothing like oh terrifying, but this is a, another DIY that you can certainly do. It is very easy. Um, yeah, and if you're if you're wondering. Savannah's not here today, um, but I am being joined by, <clears throat> by, <coughs> by, Sparky Bolt! Sorry, I missed my call. Seriously? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Um, yo, whatever, yo, 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 yo. Shake my tail, shake my tail. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so anyway, the, to make the DIY fake blood, you're going to need. You know what? Let me push these two off to the side for right now. Hey, not me. Yeah, you. Okay. To do this, you'll need some kind of a coating. I'm using a piece of printing paper because that's what I hated. And you're going to need a Tupperware. Like that. I have the window open. Uh, okay, so I have this Tupperware. Something to stir it with. I am using a skewer thing. It's that thing for like those big matches for to light barbecues. That's what my dad had. So I decided to stir it with this. Why not a spoon or a knife? I just decided to do this, and I just cut off the tip. The match part, because it's dangerous. Never play with matches, kids. Um. So, yeah. Food coloring. I am... I bought this from the Dollar Tree. And food coloring is expensive, so, uh, yeah, that was really good. And I also got... Corn syrup. You're gonna need corn syrup uh, to make this. Remember to get the light corn syrup because the regular corn syrup, it's very dark and it will look all weird like. So you need to get the light corn syrup. As you can see, the color is lighter for some reason. Okay, guys, so let's get started. First, you'll need this. Sorry, I'm filming with one hand and then the other. I'm trying to. Yep, whatever. You'll open up your corn syrup and your what the heck? And you're gonna pour what if if you're gonna make a little bit of blood, put a little bit of corn syrup. If you wanna make a lot of blood, put a lot of corn syrup. It all matters on how much blood you want is how much corn syrup you wanna put in it. So this is how much I'm gonna be making. And uh here we go. Sorry if the camera's very wobbly. Like I said, I'm holding it. I don't have a camera stand. Um. Oh, shoot. I almost dropped the food coloring. I'm trying to open this with my teeth. So, here's my food coloring. I'm just going to add this to the bowl. Oh. I feel like... It all matters on how much food coloring you put if you want your blood to be dark. And then I'm going to take this match skewer thing and I'm going to just stir it. Like I said, you can use anything that you want to stir it with. It all depends on what you have to stir it. I Oh my dog, my thumb's in front of the camera. See? This is what happens when you're not really prepared. Well, I was prepared, I just... Ignore what I just said. Don't listen to me. Okay, looks like it needs a little bit more stirring. Oh, look at it. It's blood. Ugh. This must be disturbing to the young viewers. Um, blood. Don't watch this if you feel disturbed by blood. I should have said this at the beginning. Because right now I feel like it's a bad time. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Let me see. 
Sparky, I'm gonna test it out on you. Why me? Because you're you're the guest for right now until she comes back. Fine, you can I can be your test dummy. Ooh. Maybe this wouldn't be such a bad thing. Okay, gotta get on the paper. Yeah, get on the paper. Or else my mom will be mad because I'm filming on top of her stuff. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Stuff is all goopy and gooey. Blah, get more on him. <laughs> okay, so that's the fake blood. Um, hmm. Maybe I should show you guys how it wipes off. Okay, guys. Be right back in a second. <sighs> Sorry.